everybody, I'm Ashleen Kaino from the My Best Self Project, and welcome to your daily Tarascope forecast for Friday, the 18th of January. So remember, this is um, a general reading for the collective. If you would like a private one-on-one -on -one reading, just click the link in the description. I have tons of options available. Energy for today. We have the Seven of Fire. We have the King of Earth. And doo -doo -doo -doo, we have Unity. Okay. So a quick overview of the energy for today. There's a sense of definitely not giving up or like standing true to your vision and your goals and what you want. And honestly, this feels like it's something that could lead to success, um, that you just simply need to surround yourself with the support of like-minded people to really give you that fuel to get to your goal and what you want to achieve. That's a bit of an awesome message. I love it. <laughs> okay, so we got the seven of fire, my little bent flopsy card here. Um, it says, defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. So this could be a card of like feeling defensive and like, ah, back off bitches. But for me, I always feel like this is an empowered, badass warrior goddess who knows what the fuck she wants and she's moving forward regardless, all right? And that's the energy I'm feeling. It's like, I feel like you've got this sense of knowing what you want now and where you want to go. And like, if other people aren't on the same page as you, it's like, sorry, like, get on or like, be gone. I just made that up. That was kind of cool. Okay. So simply like it's saying here, like I'm moving forward. Are you coming with me or what? But it's saying definitely stand true to this. Okay. It's not about wavering to someone else telling you, you can't do this or something like that. Um, it's definitely about you knowing what you want and moving towards it, heading towards it, standing your ground with your vision. Okay. But not necessarily getting into a fight about it. It's saying, choose your battles wisely. There are ways of expressing yourself here without like pissing people off or like getting into full blown fights, like being diplomatic, but still standing your ground with this, not backing down. Okay. And then we've got the King of Earth, which is all about prosperity and success and really mastering that and finding the balance and just being abundant and prosperous in all ways, in stability, security, home and family life, secure foundations, um, even relationships. And so this is King Midas and everything he touches turns to gold. So it says a successful time, confidently accept opportunities you're offered, the Midas touch. So for me, this is a sense of, look, there's something you have in your mind here that you're really determined to do and it's something that can really lead to success or stability in your home life, security financially. Um, it could be your family issues. Whatever it is, it's telling you to continue to move forward and not back down here because it's something that can be really successful and really master that balance within your home life, within your material world, the physical, okay? But I do feel it's essential for you to have faith and to lean into like the like-minded people around you to really give you that support. So whenever we get the seven of fire, it suggests that there's someone around you that ain't so supportive. <laughs> um, and it's just saying, yeah, you got to lean in right now to the ones that are. Go out and find them. Join some kind of spiritual group, spiritual organization, or an organization linked to whatever this goal is or whatever this vision is. Um, maybe it's a type of work. Maybe it's writing. Whatever it is, like go find a group where there's other people doing this that you can feel plugged into that will really give you that energy and that... Um, courage to continue forward. So it says traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors and like-minded friends. So very, very important for you to definitely plug yourself into some kind of support network that will get you. Your tribe, those people who are like there for you, your ride or dies, okay? And she's even, she's on a ride here, okay? So it's telling you connect with them, but also to have that faith and that vision of knowing where you want to go because it can lead to success. Love it. Okay, so let's look at our angel message for today. Flying out everywhere here. You are a powerful light worker. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and loving service to the divine. So for me, it's all about this picture. It's just like, look at the power. Look at the light that's shining out of her heart, okay? And that's this. This is Daenerys. This is the mother of dragons. This is you. It's telling you to be the badass warrior goddess, knowing what you want and having that vision and having the courage to go after it. Courage. That comes from like the French word, cour, okay? Heart. Ugh. This is where this is all coming from. You're being driven with your passion, with your heart, and what you want to do, your creativity, okay? And that's what's going on here. So it's telling you to really buckle down and really know that it is safe for you to unleash this power. Whatever it is that you're wanting to do, if it's writing that book, going for this job, 
whatever. It's saying, look, go for it, okay? It is now time to step into your power. Yeah, I love that message. Um, okay, let's do Ascendant Masters today. Woo, we got three cards, okay. <laughs> Usually I don't take them when they come out in a clump, but let's see what they say. Okay, interesting. So first of all, we have health and healing. So this could be about really you taking control of your health. It could be that maybe you're healing from um, past failures when it comes to business or jobs, um, situations maybe feeling like you're not worthy and it's telling you like you've been going through this healing, now you're knowing your worth and it's time to step into your power. That's what I'm getting from that card. We have father, husband, brother, son. So maybe there's some kind of conflict going on with some significant male who's maybe not fully supporting you and you just really have to stand your ground with them. And then we also have come out of the closet, which is so significant because this is about just stepping out with what it is um, what makes you who you are, like, you know, it's, you know, this comes with gay, right? <laughs> that sounds really weird. It comes with gay. But what I mean is, you know, that term is very much connected to like people who are homosexual coming out of the closet and telling people, this is who I am. This is you telling the world who you are. Doesn't mean you're gay. It's simply saying, this is you really stepping out now into your power and saying, this is me. Okay. Look out cause here I come. All right. Uh, I love that shot, that song and that movie. Um, okay, so it's just saying it is time for you to really come out of the closet like with what it is you really want to do. And it's about holding that vision, having the courage to move forward, and going for it, um, not letting anyone stop you. It is now time to really unleash and let yourself out and shine your light. Woo, that's a lot of stuff coming out there. All right, let's look at our affirmation for the day. My vibes speak louder than my words. So whether this is some kind of conversation you have to have here when it comes to what you want and what you want to do, really, really embrace and embody this vision and the passion that you feel for this situation. And I feel like whenever you really shine that vision and that passion and you have that courage and you're really like, this is what I love, this is what I want to do, the other people will get it. And that's how you're going to really be able to like get people on board, get that support. But also it can stop from anything escalating and basically stopping the other person from um, pushing against you any further because they do see your conviction and how much you actually are into this and want this. So really when it comes to this conversation, whatever has to go down, it's your vibration that's going to really speak louder than the actual words that you're going to be expressing. So use your vibes, use your feelings, um, light up the room here show that light radiating about how much this means to you and that's going to really help get that support and get these people on board with you all right you guys um i hope you enjoyed today's tarot scope and don't forget private readings hit me up and i look forward tomorrow bye